Hi there, I'm Calisella. Welcome to the GIMP for Second Life presents Adding a White Background to Robin Wood's Vector Smart Templates. You can get Robin's Vector Smart Templates off her website. In Second Life, she is Robin Sojourner. In First Life, she is Robin Wood. Although the GIMP does not use Vector Smart technology, the templates are very good. Save them as XCF files so you can use them in the GIMP. This is Robin Wood's website, which I've also typed below in the description, so you can copy and paste it. Robin's templates come without a background layer, which makes them difficult to see. An easy solution is to add a white background. And here I'll show you, this is what the template looks like on the transparent background. The little checkerboard shows that um, this is transparent in the GIMP. Now if you add a white layer, it's much easier to see. So you download and extract the templates, save them as XCF file types, that's GIMP's native format. Add a new layer, which is layer, new layer. Use the bucket fill and dump white color on the layer. Use the green arrow at the bottom of the layers dockable dialogs to move the layers down. That's Windows dockable dialog layer. Now to bring up the dockable dialog, it's Windows dockable dialogs layers. See? And I already have it up, so I'm just going to bring it right into the window here where you can see it. Here we have Robin's templates. I've got the last one chosen, and I go layer, new layer. I have named it white background. You could just check white here, and it would become a white background, but I like to have the alpha channel, the transparency in the background just in case I decide to move it up or down later and do something with it. Not that I would here, but it's just a habit, and it makes me happy. So I'm going to keep it at transparency. And then I choose my bucket tool, make sure I have the correct layer selected, which is white background, and then I just click, and there we have a white background. And I'm going to move it one more down. And so we can see all of Robin's layers, and then save it. Save or Control S. And that completes this demonstration. If you enjoyed this demonstration, I have several others. I have one on magic scissors and one on foreground background, another one on the GIMP that's going to be coming out pretty soon that has some changes to it, including the cage tool. And I also, in Second Life, have a shop, The Perfect Gift, where I have other tutorials. If you like taking classes in Second Life, please join my group, Calis Classes and Workshops. It's free to join. I teach a lot of free-to-download classes there, including Plot for Second Life, S4SL, which is a cute little programming tool made by MIT, Rokuro, which makes sculpts, and lots of other classes, Qavimator, and some building classes. So thank you for listening to this demonstration, this tutorial. My name is Calisella, and that's about it. So bye now.